Today we are going to see about Edit Validate Rule. Edit Validate Rule is used for client side validation. If you want to use the same Edit Validate Rule for server side validation, then you need to call this Edit Validate Rule in an activity. And again, that activity should be called in a post processing fraction, or you can call this Edit Validate in a Validate Rule. So basically on the property tab, you need to go to the use validate. Here already Pega provides many OOTP edit validate rules. Depending on your requirement, first you need to check whether your requirement matches with any of the existing edit validate rules. For example, here there is already an OOTP edit validate rule to check if it is a correct TI and connect the implication number or not. Likewise, there are hundreds of OTP edit validate rules, but there is no OTP edit validate rule to check the validate RRID. In such a case, you need to write code, write Java code to do that validation. You should be aware of Java code in that case. So, for example, this is the edit validate RRID edit validate. I will also show you, for example, in our candidate case, there is a tax identification number, PIN number. So, for example, now I will open that PIN number property. Whenever user enters a value in this PIN field, and whenever he taps out, automatically error should come if, there is, if the value entered doesn't adhere to the format of PIN or SSM. So let, uh, let us assume that we are applying this SSM type of edit validate rule to this PIN number. So this SSM is an OOTP edit validate rule which I am referring in my property rule form. So in my candidate case, like say for PIN number if I enter 233 or something like this, I will get error stating that the value entered is not matching with the format. In US, the standard format for SSM is three digits dash two digits dash four digits. Then you will not get error. Say if I try to enter some A, then also it is this entered value is not matching the pattern. And hence we will get an error. This is the use of a edit validate rule. Thank you.